Good morning, St. Lucas. It is good to be with you this morning on another day that the Lord has made and continues to walk with us um, as we continue to journey together in this unusual time and yet this time where we are so connected in so many ways to one another. One of the ways that I um, find myself connected to you is, is through um, these devotions and through worship on Sundays, but um, there's another space that I have gotten to, to be a part of, and we, we started it before um, we went online, but it has continued to be a community at St. Luke's that has been really powerful here online. We would love for you to join us, in fact, on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. for something we call Breathing Space. And it's it's a chance for uh, people to get together. You can just pop in once or twice. You don't have to be there every time, but uh, to, to lay down some burdens, to name some things that are weighing on your shoulders, to name some things that you need to, to set down for an hour. We're not solving any problems. We're not there to give advice. Um, we're just there to name the things that we need to let go of. And then to spend some silent time listening and, and hearing God through scripture. And so I want to give you an opportunity to, to do a little bit of that this morning as you go into whatever your day looks like. So I want you to think about what is it that is sitting on your shoulders right now? What is it that's making your steps feel just a little heavier today? What is it that if you could let go of it for just a few minutes, that you might be able to breathe a little deeper? You might be able to find some space within yourself to open yourself for just a moment to hear and to, to listen to the spirit because the spirit wants to work on you today. I can guarantee you that. But what is it that you need to mentally set aside for just a moment to be able to hear that? So I want you to do that. I want you to envision yourself putting whatever that is off to the side. It's over there now. So now let's together, let's listen to this week's Psalm. We're going to go through the first three verses of Psalm 26. And I'm going to read it three times. I'm going to leave a little bit of silence in between each time. And, and during uh, my reading and during the silence, I want you to listen. What words or phrases grab you? What words or phrases just seem to not want to let you go? What words or phrases that might be ones you don't expect? Do you need to ask more questions about? Why, God, is that what caught my eye or my ear this morning? And to see what rabbit trails that takes you down, to see what maybe the Spirit is revealing. So let's take a deep breath. And close your eyes, get comfortable, but let's hear these words from Psalm 26. Establish justice for me, Lord, because I have walked with integrity. I've trusted the Lord without wavering. Examine me, Lord, put me to the test. Purify my mind and my heart, because your faithful love is right in front of me. I walk in your truth. listen again. Establish justice for me, Lord, because I have walked with integrity. I trusted the Lord without wavering. Examine me, Lord, put me to the test. Purify my mind and my heart, because your faithful love is right in front of me. I walk in your truth. one last time. Establish justice for me, Lord, because I have walked with integrity. I've trusted the Lord without wavering. Examine me, Lord. Put me to the test. Purify my mind and my heart, because your faithful love is right in front of me. I walk in your truth. Take a few more deep breaths. Feel the space maybe that the spirit has opened up for you. 
Feel the space that you are opening up to allow the spirit to work on you in a different way. I want you to consider what were those words, what were those phrases, what in this passage might have caught your ear. And maybe you had a moment in the silence to, to ask the question, what, what was it that the spirit might be starting to reveal to you? But that usually takes a little more time. So I want you to take those words with you. And if you have a few moments today to take some moments for silence and breathing throughout the day, even if it's crazy, even if, you know, the, the school day is, is nuts, even if you're, you're having a hard time even finding a moment to, to breathe, take that moment and breathe and to, to let the spirit continue to walk with you, to be aware of the spirit that is walking with you and to wonder what might it be that the spirit needs you to hear today. Go in peace and know, and know that God's spirit walks alongside you every step of the way. Amen.